For giving student loans is a matter of racial justice. The Senate made a mistake by rejecting Biden's plan, opinion. In the Senate, two Democrats and one independent joined Republicans in voting against President Biden's proposal to erase student loans. In a courageous attempt to draw attention to the problem of black and brown Americans in particular, who have less intergenerational wealth to rely on when trying to pursue an education and hence greater debt, President Biden has promised to veto the Senate bill. And as a black academic doctor who owes $315,000 in medical school loans, I wholeheartedly support initiatives to assist individuals who are being burdened by excessive debt. Republicans have contended that the president's blanket debt cancellation, $10,000 to $20,000 in loan forgiveness depending on a person's income, was unfair to those who had already responsibly repaid their student loans or who had chosen not to attend college in the first place in order to avoid accruing significant debt. Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat who joined Republicans in voting, said, we should be focusing on bipartisan student debt reforms that reduce the cost of higher education and help all Americans. I couldn't agree more, but student loan forgiveness must be a part of the effort to ensure educational justice for all Americans. After all, the problem of racial justice with student debt. Black and brown Americans must borrow more money to complete the same level of education as white Americans due to systematic racism. Inequities in the workplace mean that, despite having the same degree of education, we are statistically more likely to be underpaid, underpromoted, and undervalued than other workers, regardless of their line of employment. Undoubtedly, a sizable portion of Americans are helplessly handicapped by student loan debt, and minorities are more prone than non minorities to fall into this category. A cancellation of $10,000 or $20,000 is more than appropriate for borrowers with lesser loan sums who are immediately in danger of going without a place to live or food once loan payments resume. However, that does not imply that the Republicans are entirely mistaken. People must take responsibility for their own financial actions, and most of the people affected by Biden's proposal aren't actually in need. If politicians could put partisanship aside long enough to develop such programs in a timely manner, there would be many more of us who are capable employees who would fully benefit from a long-term reform. Democrats typically highlight how their plan will assist 45% of consumers in paying off their debt. However, for the remaining 55% of us who have considerably larger debts, the vast taxpayer investment to wipe out $10,000 of our amounts may have little impact on racial justice or personal responsibility. Due to this, the majority of Americans, regardless of race, are not truly benefited by partisan efforts to modify student loan laws. Politicians would need to put aside their differences and work together to develop real, long-term solutions that would address the prohibitive expense of an education today in order to genuinely implement such reform. I'll keep sitting here, counting down the final 24 months of my 120 public service loan installments as I stare at my $315,000 debt balance. Despite the fact that I have dutifully carried out my end of the contract, I lack faith in the government's ability to eliminate my debt. We are trapped in a costly loophole that completely prevents any long-term racial justice or chances for personal accountability because of this lack of faith in our dysfunctional system. The Senate made a mistake by overturning President Biden's offer to cancel student loans. A step in the right path had been taken toward racial justice. But actual equity is elusive because to a greater political culture that is supported by both Democrats and Republicans. The Director of Social Justice and Health Equity for Yale Psychiatry is Carmen Black Maryland, an assistant professor of psychiatry at Yale School of Medicine. The author's own opinions are presented in this piece.